Hey guys, Mick here at Tech Bordeaux. In this video, I'm going to show you how to back up your computer using CrashPlan. So this program actually takes your computer, um, it backs it up to a local hard drive or a local network attached storage, and uh, does everything for you on a daily or hourly basis. All right, so let's get to it. So the first thing we're gonna do is create that folder. So I'm actually gonna be um, uploading it to my um, network attached storage. So what I wanna do is browse to my network attached storage. So it is called Apollo. It's under storage, backups, and crash plan. So I already created that folder. So what I wanna do is copy this path go back here and we're gonna map it Map network drive we're gonna name it B click finish and there we go so it's just an empty folder so came up here if you guys do have a USB hard drive it's gonna pop up automatically you will not have to map anything it'll pop up its own drive letter and you'll be able to select that as an option all right so let's go ahead and download crash plan now so Download and install this program. All right. So this is a test PC here that I am working on. So that's why it looks very bare. But let's go ahead and we're going to go to uh, the download. Now well, these settings are coming up. Let's get that out of the way. So backup back up for free. So, just want to do Windows 64-bit. This is a 64-bit machine. And download a crash plan. All right, so any second now. So Crash Plan is a free tool. Um, there are a lot of other free tools, but this just seems to be, you know, one of the easiest and one of the um, highly recommended tools for uh, backup. So once this does start downloading, let's see. Maybe I'll just copy the link here. Come on, download for me. Oh, there we go. Now it's downloading five times. Right, we'll cancel these other ones and let that one go. Great. All right. So open up Crash Plan. We're going to hit next. We can install for everybody or just myself. I'll just install it for myself. We don't need it for everybody else. Okay, next, install. Go ahead and close this out. All right, so we'll click finish. And now it's gonna pop in the tray right down here in the bottom. So, double click on it. Let's see what comes up here. Looks like it might still be starting. folder for crash plan. Ah, okay, so it was still installing. Jumping the gun here. Alright, so 
We'll give it a couple seconds. Here we go. All right, so if you have a new account, you just create your own account here. If you have an existing account, you create that too. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put in some credentials. I'm just gonna go ahead and make up a username and password for now. Let's see. Let's just do this um, jojo at aol.com for now, just for testing. Testing, testing. So of course you would use your actual credentials. This is uh, just for testing purposes. All right, awesome. So we're in. You guys can uh, actually try Crash Plan Central for free. This is where they back up to their servers. Um, it is a paid for service. Um, so we have also the option of backing up to a friend. So you can actually back up across the internet to a friend's computer. Um, then there's another computer, uh, which you can do within your local network, and then there's the folder. So what we want to do here is the folder. So um, as you can see here, files, it is actually checking and scanning all of my files currently. So what we're going to do is uh, click on folder here, select your backup destination, we're going to select. So I set it as my B drive. We can go ahead and just click on B for backup. We're going to click OK. Your folder appears in the list of available folders. Select the folder and click Start Backup. So it says it's uh, waiting. Let's go ahead and give it a second. Oh, perfect. So name is B. It's going to give it this name right there. And then we can click Start Backup. All right, so it's starting now. So you can actually remove backup archive from here. So you have all the, a lot of these options here. So you can go to restore, which um, once this is complete, it'll find where the files are and it'll ask you if you wanna restore anything. So it can't restore it now just because we don't have any backups yet. Um, there are a bunch of different settings here. Um, this is a computer username, you have the account, backup security, uh, so on and so forth, how often you want it to run. So, change your password, your network information. You can also check your history as to when this last backed up. And then you can also add friends to here so that you can back up to your friends' computers. All right, so let's go ahead and just check on this backup folder here. So if I were to look at this, there's 933 megabytes that are going to be backed up. We will go ahead and click on this on our B drive now. And look at that. So it already created the folder. It's already doing an entire backup of this uh, system here. So you can go ahead and change what it is backing up. But currently, it's backing up the C drive. So under the C, it's backing up users and test. So it's backing up everything for this user. If there are any other folders you want to back up, go ahead and actually add them. So you can do program files, documents and settings, so on and so forth, whichever you prefer. If you have more users, you can add them too. So that's pretty much it. So if you guys have any questions, please uh, comment below. Uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Um, like and subscribe um, and enjoy your day, guys.